the Romford Ball, congratulations. Three fights, three knockouts, a great performance from you tonight. Just tell us how good that felt. Felt fantastic, especially in front of some of my supporters here. In the, in the future, we'll get a lot more in. But listen, it's great to have that little taste of what the future can hold. Massive respect to Danny Whitaker. Great man, great opponent, and I'm ready for the next step. Talking about the crowd, though, you've had your first fights, your first two fights behind closed doors, haven't you? Did you feed off that energy in here tonight? Yeah, it was different, but I feel like I prepared better than I have for any of them fights, especially with Mark being back. I had a, I've got a great assistant trainer in Steve Andrews, but we've added Sonny Cannon and Mark Tibbs into the mix now. And listen, this, we've got a long way to go, but I'm in a, I'm in a good place. And for your dad as well, this was his first oh, yeah. opportunity to watch you as a professional. I caught up with him before the fight. Yeah. He said he was nervous, but he'll be thrilled and proud he, with that. He always it? gets nervous. My mum and dad are here, my, my brothers are here, and uh, it's brilliant. My little sister's at home. But listen, we're, we're going to have a nice Chinese now and, and celebrate. So right, you've earned that. Let's talk a little bit about the fight then. Danny Whitaker, you know, he was coming to fight, he was coming to win, uh, your first opponent with a winning record. But, you know, it, it wasn't very obvious in there that that was a step up for you. You completely blew him away in there tonight. I think it's the, the confidence you can take from knowing that you prepared well. Lennox Lewis sent me a message before my debut. The, le the more I prepare, the less I worry. And that was testament to what work we've been doing in the gym. And in the build-up to this fight, once again, you know, for you, the goal was to be able to showcase a bit of that boxing ability, what you can do on the back foot. But you haven't been in a position where you've had to showcase any of that because you, uh, you clearly carry that power, and that was evident again this evening. Yeah, listen, I, I definitely calmed down from the second fight, from that one. Um, I think it's different when you've got someone with a winning record in there. And um, I've got a long, long way to go to calm myself down and box on the back foot. But I know I can box on the back foot because I've shown it before, inspiring the top-level professionals. But... Doing it in the ring is another thing, and that's why we have a process. That's why we have a journey like this where we've got to build. I'm only 22 years old. I've got a long, long way to go, and you've got to stay humble and you've got to stay ready. And talking about that process, when you know your third four rounder tonight, when you begin to move up to six rounds, as yeah. Mark said this week, you'll have more time in there to be more patient, won't Definitely. you? Definitely. I've been preparing as if it's been a six-round fight as well, and I think that showed, although I was still aggressive, I was, I was a little bit less intense, weren't throwing as much lever, and I think that's me beginning to mature in this early, early stage, and it will take five, six, seven fights to really start and, and hone them skills. I think what's great to see about you, Johnny, you know, every day's a school day, isn't it, in yeah. the gym? And you've got such a great appetite to learn, isn't it, which is going to be so key. Yeah, that, that's the same as when I was at university, when I'd done A-levels. I think that grounding in good academics is what's helped me progress that into my sporting career as well. And I'm very thankful for everyone who's helped me along the way. And this is another journey we were at the beginning of, and we'll see how far it can go. And to have Mark Tibbs in the corner for the first time on your pro journey so far, you know, we know he's been very busy working with Billy Joe Saunders, but he believes in you. He sees that potential. How motivational is that for oh, you as well? so motivational. We all know in our area about Mark Tibbs and his dad and how great, uh, great the boxing trainers they are. And it's not just that he's my boxing trainer. We're, we're good friends and we get on and we've gelled really well. And he said to me once in the car, it's like we've known each other forever. And it has because he's from the same sort of stock I'm from. And it's just brilliant to be working with someone so legendary in the sport as him and his dad. And for you, what's quite impressive as well, I touched on it earlier, but look, you're a young man. You're on this huge platform, you're backed by Eddie Hearn, but zero ego, zero chip on the, on the shoulder. You're just working hard and sort of seeing where you can go on this journey and where the road takes Listen, you. Boxing is a very brutal sport and um, it can end at any time for anyone, especially in the heavyweights. And you've got to have respect for all your opponents, respect for the people you work with and respect for your rivals. So you've got to be ready for anything. And the best way to be is to be honest and just be honest with where you are. We've got some big shows coming up over the next few months. Leeds, uh, London, of course, and Liverpool as well. You'll be sitting down with Eddie and the team and looking to get back out as soon as possible. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to enjoy a nice week or so off, eating what I want, because I've really dedicated myself. I showed that in my shape in there today. And uh, whatever Eddie and Sam Jones throw at me, I'll answer. Johnny, was that double lively? That was double lively. And I can add a little bosh on the end. Amazing. Brilliant, Johnny. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. <laughs>